Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Thank you for your support. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. Honey, I don't know what the heck has been going on. Someone is trying to take my voice away from me. Like, I'm naturally creative, very intuitive, always have. Like, this, my engine rolling. I woke up today and it's like, ah. And I'm like, uh-uh, it's mine. It's give it back. <laughs> give it back. And then I was laying on my couch and I saw this image of someone like having a core attached to another person, I said immediately I break, I cut off all ties, all cores, spiritually dark, negative cores off of me. I do not give permission to anyone to attach any cores to me. I don't give permission to anyone to take my energy. I call back my energy. I take back my energy immediately and permanently. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this reading. There has been a decision made to bring something in to your attention. Um, something is going to be fixed. You could have people watching you or, you know, someone watching you that wants to make something right. Your character is being exposed, right? Someone may love the fact that you are someone that stands up for yourself. You speak the truth. You're highly intellectual. You do the right thing. You're quite of a healer yourself as well. And you have high moral characters, okay? For some of you, you could have some type of court case going on that is going to go in your favor you are being protected right now because there's possibly a couple or a group someone working behind the scenes to interfere with your forward movement i heard something about you know someone trying to steal what belongs to another person but they want to do it in like a tricky way where it seems legal but it's not okay so just be on the lookout for that because i create content i'm going to use social media as an example so let's say i'm creating content and someone wants to steal my platform but they want to go about it the legal way so they create some type of false case and try to take me to court in order to take my platform so whatever money i am uh, uh, um getting from that will be going to them this is like similar to what someone may be trying to do so if you have a social media platform please do do your due diligence to stand up for what's yours protected at, at all costs use your voice to speak for yourself do not be worried about who you are offending you are working for whatever it is that belongs to you so stand up for yourself okay so <clears throat> you're showing up here as the page of swords this is ab absolutely beautiful this king queen of pentacles has shown up quite a few times now you're someone that's absolutely intellectual very feisty a bit of a firecracker but that is absolutely okay even though you are on the feisty side people know that you are extremely loyal you will stand up for what's right and for the people that are close to you so you are actually very beneficial to have on a team or you're someone that people will want to have on their side you have high moral character so you are solid maybe there was something about your character being tarnished or something like that but you're coming out here oh ooh, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> don't worry don't worry collective this is not you this is not you this is happening to what this is is someone in the background okay you have been exposed as someone who is the truth someone in the past or behind the scenes has been working on tearing you down stealing from you possibly but someone has some type of illness going on this could be mental this is someone extremely mentally unstable this is someone that possibly throws a lot of temper tantrums when they don't get their way they throw a fit this is someone you can absolutely expect to be yelling screaming if you question what it is that they say this is someone out of control this is someone unhinged 
This is absolutely ridiculousness at its best. The fact that this is coming out, this four of swords in the reverse is coming out before a queen of cups means that this is a queen of cups in the reverse. Uh, this woman is having a hard time because she's not healing. She's not improving. This is someone that's very good at pretending to be something that she is absolutely not. For some of you, this could be your mother. This could be your wife, ex-wife, your girlfriend, your boss. There is, <clears throat> this is a lot of different characters in your lives. But this person is unhinged. Someone has mental illness. And that's like, that's lightly even talking of it, okay? Mental illness is an understatement for the mental state of this person. This person is unhinged, but they play with your, your emotions at the same time. So when you are around this person, you will feel, because this person is really good at wearing a mask, at wearing a mask so when you are around them you will feel some type of genuine energy from them but it is false is a mask this is because this person has been like this for years decades so they know how to put on a show this could even be someone that's like a public figure or someone that is like the face of a company this is someone who can be like a liaison i said public figure and the fool is on the other end this is someone that could be like a liaison like a ceo vice president something this is someone that that uh, uh, does like public appearances and things like that this is like a face of a company but this person is unhinged this is not a genuine person. Someone may have picked a battle with you and they lost and it is absolutely throwing them off. Their bunkers is out of whack, okay? Okay, I'm telling you. This woman is absolutely upset that someone is still coming to you. I know we see this seven of swords out here, which typically used, usually has to do with someone being malicious or some. The seven of swords, actually, let's be honest, it does not really always have to do with being malicious. This could just be someone sneaking away, someone that is not like everybody else. This is someone that thinks outside of the box. This is someone that moves to the beat of their own drums, right? So what I'm seeing here is that someone has seen the truth about you. This person is envious of you. You and this person are a queen of cups, but you are the queen of cups in the upright. This person is the queen of cups in the reverse, okay? And she's envious of you. This is someone older than you as well. This is someone that's so much older than you, you would not expect this type of behavior from her because this is someone that is established in life and things like that, has a lot of connections and networks things of that nature whereas you are coming up as a younger energy and this woman envies you for that so it is a big problem she has been working behind the scenes to block something from coming towards you to block people from helping you to block people from supporting you things of that nature this is someone extremely jealous of you however there is someone in her energy that absolutely does not care about her losing her temper throwing a fit yelling i see literally a woman just yelling ridiculously like it's terrifying when this woman loses her temper absolutely terrifying and because people have allowed her to do this for years, this is why she is comfortable doing this. This woman is well connected. This is why also people are afraid of stepping up to her, standing up to her and voicing their opinions. They are afraid of losing resources and things of that nature. So when she speaks, they stay quiet. Someone may have been very well manipulated into partnering up with this type of energy so now they don't know how to get away from her someone has trapped themselves in a situation with this woman they've been planning to get away from her but there is nothing they can do they, they, nothing they've come up with that's working okay listen to this i don't i usually don't read my cards but here it is it says disease written stuck exhaustion no time of inadequate recovery restlessness difficult to relax 
spiritual energy healing. This woman is a mess. If you work for her, she's more than likely giving you a lot of work just to keep you busy because she may think that you are up to something. So she's keeping you busy, absolutely busy. So you don't think about leaving the company. You don't have, you don't have time. Excuse me. I'm telling you, someone does not want me talking. I woke up this morning with my brain like empty and I'm like, oh, absolutely not. Spirit, ancestors, please get it together. Return to me what is mine. I don't steal from other people, so I do not give people permission to steal from me. But if you work for this woman, she is absolutely keeping you busy. If you are in a relationship with this woman, she's checking up on you more now because she thinks you're up to something and it's overbearing. Absolutely overbearing. So let's get into this. There is someone in her energy that she has been trying to prevent from leaving her and this could be either a company, a relationship, something like that. But someone is absolutely leaving this woman. They're ticking. They're behind, away from her. She is a nutcase. They are bringing victory to you. You are headed for victory. You're headed for growth. This person is intimidated by you because you are in charge of your own life. This is someone that's used to controlling people around them. She controls people around them. You may have had an interaction with this person. Maybe you worked at a company or maybe this is someone in a relationship with, <clears throat> with a masculine that's interested in you. And she's used to controlling people around them, possibly by paying them and things like that. Or maybe threatening threatening them that they're going to lose their job if, she doesn't, if they don't do what she says. But she cannot control you. This is someone that will come and give you some money and say, here, for you to shut up. But she's going to do it in a lovely way where you think she's your friend. She's not your friend. Okay? So you are headed for victory and it's pissing this woman off. She's upset that someone wants to give genuine love to you, have genuine love with you, that you know unconditional love. This is absolutely your energy. You are abundant in love because this is the strongest energy the strongest vibration in the universe. This woman is absolutely intimidated by you. You're like a factory of creation. You have these new ideas that just flow out and out and out. You're very innovative and this woman is exhausted. Her mind is dumb. It's, this is like an airhead walking around pretending she does not mind stealing from other people. She will plagiarize and make it seem like she did the work. This is someone who other people do the work behind the scene and she does not mind showing her face to act like she's the one who did the job. Okay, this is a heavy character, an interesting character, a, quite a handful. And the people around you will absolutely tell you this is a handful, quite a lot to deal with. Unbearable is what I keep hearing. She is unbearable. Someone is terrified of her. I just heard the word terrified. People are absolutely terrified of this woman. Uh, even the people that she network with, they're terrified of her because she is just ridiculous. She is immature. She didn't mature the right way. And if this is like a CEO, vice president, or owner of a company, God bless you all that work under her. If you are in a relationship with this woman, God bless your soul. Poor unfortunate souls. Okay? Let's get into this. Now, we have our seven of swords out here. This is not someone being malicious in this particular reading. This is someone sneaking away from this woman. And she is not going to know when they do this. They are absolutely going to be getting away from her to do the right thing. This is why we have the knight of swords out here. Someone is absolutely stepping up to the plate in a unique and creative way to do the right thing. Because this woman did something to interfere with your forward movement. I am telling you to do the right thing. This woman has been doing things behind the scenes to interfere with people's lives not just you collective even the very people she has working under her she has been interfering with your lives and it's a brave soul that is stepping up to the plate to do the right thing it may take a little bit of time this person may come to you and there may be like a weird feeling but they're coming to you in a genuine nature okay they don't have ulterior motives for you because they had to someone this is karma out here this is karma someone that's coming towards you had to learn a lesson the hard way 
they had to learn a lesson the hard way. So now they're taking actions to right their wrong. Someone is going through some type of, I don't even know what to call it. I cannot say rule awakening. It, it possibly, maybe that's what it is. If that's what's coming to my mind, then that's what it is. It's a rude awakening. Someone may have partnered up with this woman under some type of false presumptions because she's really good with words. She's really good with manipulations. She's really good with playing on people's emotions and letting them think that she's their friend and things like that. Honey, I've met someone like this before. I said, absolutely not, ma'am. I saw you at hello. When you said hello, I knew who you were. You will absolutely not fool me. Nope. So someone is sneaking away, coming to advocate for you. They want to bring some type of betrayal to your attention. Something that was stolen from, I'm telling you, something that was stolen from you that has to do with work. Someone may want to present you with some type of work opportunities for some of you. Uh, someone, there's a secret. There's something going on about work, okay? Oh, there's a secret. Something is going on. This has to do with your work. Someone may be trying to interfere with your work. As I mentioned with the social media platform, someone may be trying to steal a platform or something of that nature. Um, there's a whole lot of different situations going on. I am speaking to God honest truth. This person that wants to come towards you is absolutely terrified because they know you are the queen of swords. You have your swords pulled out at this person. You are going to see right through them if they try to BS you around. But they do... They do want to seal the calmer waters with you, okay? For someone here, I don't know. I, I'm getting an ulterior motive as well, but, you know, <laughs> just be mindful. Just be on the lookout. You're going to be presented with an opportunity. Just be cautious of opportunities that you are receiving. This is coming from someone that is romantically interested in you. Someone is very much passionate about you. They know they know that you are abundant, right? So someone is passionate about you. This could be something that they hid from the rest of the people. This woman may have found out that someone has emotions for you and wants to work for work with you. And she's upset that this person still wants to come towards you. She's done a lot of manipulations behind the scenes. And it's like, well, she thought she had this person, right? She said, I've done my work. He thinks she's horrible. He thinks he's horrible. She thinks he's horrible. He's not going to go towards her. And then surprise, he's like, I'm, I'm getting the heck up away from you. For some of you, there's a masculine that got into some type of relationship with this woman. And it is absolutely not going the way he thought it would. This woman knows how to paint herself in a light. She knows how to paint herself in a light. And now he's stuck with her, okay? Yes, this opportunity, it does look like it's going to be successful with the fact that we have the three of wands out here. Um, you are basically like waiting for your ship to sail right now. There was some type of interference with your forward movement, but as you can see, you have an opportunity coming your way. A brand new passionate beginning that's going to be given to you by someone that is interested in you and it is going to lead to success. I just heard that this person may be thinking that is not going to be successful. This could be another reason why we have this ten of swords out here. Someone thinks that they're going to experience some type of loss with you coming towards you and things of that nature. They think that you're going to betray them if they tell you what they actually did. Because for some of you, this masculine or whoever this is, did take actions against you in the past to interfere with your work. Some of you may have ended up losing a job. I am speaking the God's honest truth. Some of you may have ended up losing a job, losing opportunities, finances, and things like that. Um, and it was due to actions this masculine took behind the scenes and you were not aware and it's being brought to your attention. So he is absolutely terrified even though he wants to come in and advocate for you, tell you the truth. This person is terrified of you rejecting them. He's basically saying, well, she says she forgives me, but then she still rejects me. Like she doesn't want to be with me or she doesn't want to work with me, right? Um, but it looks like if you, if, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. If you accept this offer from this masculine, it is going to be successful. This is a promotion. For some of you, you have a boss that will be giving you some type of promotion, um, but it's going to come at an unexpected time, right? You're not going to be like in the know about this when it happens. This is about to put you into a whole new bracket 
right? Like you're, you have worked your way up in this company or this is what you're doing and your boss is going to surprise you with some type of either promotion, a payout, a bonus, an incentive, something of that nature. There is something going on in courts for some of you about a resource, a payout. There's something about finances. There could have been some type of financial gift or pay out that was being hidden from you some type of financial abundance uh and it is being protected and will be given to you because you are the rightful owner of that abundance and people have been working really hard behind the scenes to block it some of you were not in the know about this you've been waiting for a long time for your ships to sail but you didn't know how your ships were going to come where they were coming from you just knew intuitively that there was something that was meant for you that was on its way to you but you didn't know when it was going to be arriving okay but rest assured you will be a-okay this woman is not having a good day honey she is not having a good day. This woman is exhausted, throwing a fit, having a mental breakdown. And then we have the, the eight of swords out here as well. Someone is mentally trapped. Someone is mentally trapped. Okay? Absolutely mentally trapped. Someone is coming up with a plan to trap you as well. It's like... It's really crazy because I'm like hearing a story for one person and then I'm hearing it for another person. And I'm going to jump into this other energy really briefly. Be mindful. There could be someone trying to come towards you with some type of business offer to trap you in something that is not what it seems. They're going to make it seem really abundant, right? Just to trap you. They don't want you seeing what you need to see. This is for someone specific. They're going to make this seem really promising, but it's a false business offer. Okay? For the other person, this offer that's coming to you, it is successful. Why we have another reason why we have this eight of swords out here is that they want to confuse you. It's that you have a genuine offer that's coming in, but there's someone working behind the scenes that may want to come towards you with another offer to get you to choose the wrong thing it's so complicated i don't appreciate readings like these because it's just like too much going on someone does someone basically does not want you receiving the receiving what belongs to you this is something that the most high has ordained for you but someone does not want you having it okay someone like this this god forsaken creature this monster they like to be the only one with the resources with the upper hand because it makes it easier for people to con for her to control people this could very well be a masculine that's in his feminine energy take the energy as it applies but these kind of people they like to be the one with all of the resources all of the connections they don't like to share they only share if you do what they say if you go with the flow of things but if you are someone who is a bit of a rebel, you move to the beat of your own drums, they don't like you. You are a glitch in their matrix and they have a problem with that. Okay? So Spirit is telling you to pay attention. I'm speaking to God honest truth. Spirit is telling you to pay attention because this woman wants to cause you some type of difficulties. She wants to come in and cause you some type of difficulties, unnecessary challenges. It's that you've made it out of some type of really hard situation. You took yourself out of a situation and this person, you've kind of defeated a really dark entity because this woman does have an entity attached to her that messes with her mental. This woman has a mental issue she's been dealing with for a long time. And she does not realize that at this point, she and the entity are one. When she moves, it moves. When it moves, she moves. So when you see her, you are really just seeing an entity. It knows how to put itself together. And when it's time to let loose, it knows how to come out. Someone has a demonic entity attached to their head. And I just heard their bottom part as well. 
This is someone that is loose. This is someone that even if they are married, they have affairs going on. This woman is reckless. But when you see her, she looks put together. She looks absolutely put together. She's upset as well at you, Collective. You may have spoken the truth about something, brought attention to something. If you work in a company with this person, if you wrote a letter or something of that nature, this woman knows that you said something that illuminated the truth and she's pissed off about that. So she may be doing things behind the scenes to trap you in you. She does not like to be defeated. She's never been defeated before, but some of you, you've defeated this woman unknowingly to you, and you don't realize you have hidden enemies in high places. That's how I was told to say that. This is a very interesting character. Interesting character. Okay. So you have some type of work opportunity coming in from a king of wands and this person is abundant this could be someone that works with her i don't i don't get that this is the person coming towards you this is someone that's either this could there's so many characters in here oh my gosh there could be a king of wands that is trapped with this <sighs> excuse me i'm telling you someone does not want me giving this message there is a king of wands that is trapped with this woman. He cannot leave. She manipulated him into something. He cannot leave. Or at least that's how he thinks. He thinks he's trapped. Because the eight of swords has to do with us being mentally trapped. Not real. We feel trapped in a situation. We feel like there's no way out. But we don't realize that there is a way out when you let go. So let's say for us, for uh, example, you are attached to this person and the there are benefits of you being attached to her. You get money, you have all these wonderful connections and things like that. While all of that may be good, dealing with this person is a nightmare. Dealing with the people that are around her is a nightmare. Dealing with everyone in this situation is a nightmare. So it's not really fulfilling. So you could have access to all of this abundance, but you're living in deplority mentally and emotionally, and you want out. So the it of source then is you feeling trapped. You feel trapped physically. You feel trapped mentally. You feel trapped emotionally. However, you are the one holding yourself in that entrapment. That is what the it of source is. It's a self-imposed mental imprisonment you are free to leave at any time but this masculine has limited his himself he thinks that he will only have success if he's attached to these people it's a mental imprisonment it's a self-imposed mental imprisonment this is what that is so this is why this is out here too there's a lot of benefits from being attached to these people. This woman, she's well connected. So this is why he's staying. He's afraid to lose his resources, his attachment to this abundant company. So he's going to stay because he does not feel like anything else is going to work out. He does not want to have to start over. He does not want to have to start over. But there is someone in here that is coming towards you quickly. This person could also be a queen, king of wands. But this person is coming to you quickly. They want to build with you. Someone finds you to be a be to a to bed, honey. I'm telling you, someone does not want me saying this message. I have been struggling with my words, my mind. I woke up this morning and it's just not where it is. I am usually sharp, quick witted intuitive even though i keep most of my knowledge to myself but honey i woke up today i said uh-uh someone is someone is doing me something and i must fix it and i guess i'm still in there a little bit but i be patient with me folks i'm getting out of it 
He has a lot of resources available to him from his attachment with these people. He does not want to leave because he's going to have to start all over. He does not want to have to start all over, but he's in love with you. He has emotions for you. He may be hiding that. Okay, he does not want to have to start all over, but it's going to be successful if he does. We have the sun out here. Look, 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 look. It's just you, collective. He wants to connect with you, but he does not realize that you are this abundant. This is you. You are this person's ideal partner. You could be a little bit unique, showing up here as the star. You're a little bit eccentric. And people may find you to be a bit odd, but you are this person's ideal partner. This is why you are coming out in the Queen of Pentacles. But also, this is you naturally. You are a wife, a mother. You keep the home front taken care of. You're down to earth, business oriented, innovative, spiritually guided. You're a healer. You heal wherever you go. Intentionally, unintentionally, you are a natural healer. But this masculine, this was coming out, so I am going to take it out. I'm telling you, new beginning. And I told you this person was not a, a malicious. They're not cunning. This is someone stepping out on faith. This is someone taking a calculated risk. So it is absolutely not coincidental that the fool landed under him. This is someone taking a calculated risk to step out on faith. So quite possibly that masculine is getting away from this nutcase. Because when I tell you the person that I saw yelling, it was even terrifying for me. I thought she was, I felt like she was yelling at me for a second. I wanted to turn my head like, who the heck do you think you're talking to? But then I had to remember I was just seeing images. Lord have mercy. Someone is toxic but has mastered the art of pretending. To be calm, collect, having their S-H-I-T together, but they do not. This masculine is getting away from this woman. Absolutely. Kudos to you, sir. This is a nightmare to deal with. I heard someone screaming. Screaming. Like, like the, this woman was screaming so loud she should have passed out. But she's used to doing it. It's second nature to her. This is someone unhinged. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine working for someone like that? Can you imagine waking up to someone like that every day? Honey, I am being verified, solidified, legitimized, validated by the most high. This person is stepping out on faith to have success with you. He has been advocating for you too behind the scenes. Someone wants a new beginning in love. They felt like they were dealt the wrong hand. They made a lot of mistakes by coming up against you. So someone is stepping in to do the right thing, stepping up to do the right thing. They are changing their mindset. This whole read is starting to make sense now because for a second there, I said, Lord, I don't know which direction to go. It's a lot of voices. You know, I'm already called crazy and I'm out here hearing voices, all these different stories. But this masculine said it's his story. He feels trapped, but he's getting out. He has found clarity. There's a situation he did not know the truth about, but now he has clarity and he's taking actions to make things right. Okay, that's why we have this out here. He feels trapped with these people. He's coming to make an offer. I'm telling you, taking charge of his life because he has clarity now. For a second, I'm just like, wait, which, which direction? Wait, hold on, spirit, hold on. And then spirit said, no, that's your conscious brain trying to trick you. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. And you are so mentally alert, you won't listen. Shut your conscious brain down and listen to what I'm saying. So here we are. This masculine is doing, is, what I'm hearing is that he's doing what's right for him for the first time. Okay. Lord have mercy. 
I'm telling you, this person is going through mental distress. Not just ment mental, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. This person is in regret. I'm telling you, listen, this person is in regret for betraying you. Betrayal. And he's afraid that you will not want to work with him, get in a relationship with him, that you're going to reject him. This is why we have this out here. Someone is worried. Worried. Conflicted. He's conflicted about this whole situation. Someone thought they knew the truth before, but then the truth was exposed. And now they have clarity and they want to come towards you to build with you. And he is absolutely terrified because he knows what he did to you. He knows exactly what he did to you. So you, this is going to be your decision to make. Do you want to be with this masculine because he wants to celebrate with you? Do you want to be with this masculine or do you want to walk away and... The idea of you walking away and ending up with someone else is killing this person. Some of you have never dated this person. You possibly just either went to church with them, went to school with them, you worked with them, or you're just familiar with them. And the idea of you hanging out or getting married to someone else is haunting him. He can't. He, this person is not getting any sleep. He's not getting any sleep. It's that whatever he's waiting to do, time is not going by fast enough. He's like, I want out of here. I want to get away from this crazy nutcase. I want to get away. Spirit, get me out of here. You need to talk to your angels, your guardian angels, your, your ancestors, and tell them to move on your behalf. Hopefully, you've done the healing work. But this person wants to reconnect with you, share with you. They remember you as someone who was genuine to them. You extended a genuine friendship to this person. You brought their inner child out. You made this person happy. When they saw your face, they saw happiness. They felt happiness. They smile a lot when they were around you. You made them laugh. You're a little bit on the goofy side of stuff. They appreciated that. But they had people in their ears about you. And so he made a wrong turn. And now he's afraid that he's never going to have this again with you. That when he approaches you, you, you may not want to be as friendly with him as you used to be. You may hold back. Okay. Yeah, this person knows. You know the truth. He knows that you know the truth. He's aware that you know what happened. And it's terrifying him. And we have this three of wands above this high priestess. There could be some type of business opportunity that's going to involve some type of spirituality work. So you're a high priestess. You too can, could end up building some type of spiritual empire that's going to be extremely successful because you're showing up as a genuine high priestess here. Very intuitive, very down-to-earth, intellectual, family-focused. The universe Fs with you. You teach other people you're a teacher. The universe loves you. You're very genuine. And what I'm also hearing is that when people see you, they don't see high priestess because you come across as really young or just very down to earth, very regular. You just appear to be like another regular plain Jane off the street, down the block, in the neighborhood. But then people get to know about you and they're like, what? That's a high priestess? So they know you are a true high priest that you're truly gifted. And they won't stop thinking about you. Absolutely, this person is going through remorse. And that you've been going up against some other high priestess here. 
there's a fake high priestess that is in mourning right now. That is in mourning. This masculine as well. This person could have gone to a high priestess to get the truth about you. And when he found the truth out about you, he is heartbroken. He's lost quite a lot of peace. He's walking around pretending like everything is a okay, but it's not okay. This is someone that's dying on the inside little by little every day. This person could pass out at any moment because he's constantly having to be around this person. If he's married to her or if he works with her, he has to constantly be around them and he could pass out at any moment, but he's doing his best to stay calm. This person is disappointed because your true character has been exposed. He now knows that you were a higher level soulmate. You two may have had some type of contract together. You may be going to a different soulmate now because of what this person did for some of you and he cannot bear the thought of you being with someone else. There was a plan to trap you in something, but your angels, your guardian angels, honey, your ancestors are not having it. They are absolutely intervening on your behalf. They've had enough of this woman and her minions. They have had enough. So excuse you. Um, excuse you. Yeah, that's over. Sit down. Go throw your temper tantrum somewhere else. Okay? Absolutely. Mm. Telling you, he is in an institution. In an institution. He's trapped in something. For some of you, this is a marriage he's trapped into. I told you an abundant institution, company, whatever I said earlier, and the Hierophant is here below the Ten of Pentacles. There's an institution involved in here. This crazy unhinged female is attached to a, a wealthy institution, and she is running these people bonkers. They are tired of this woman. She's unhinged. This is someone that has been in power for a long time and she is doing whatever she can to hold on to it. She will do anything to hold on to it. And the very people that she work with, that work under her, she don't give two Fs about them. You know like those leaders that we see in the movies that just don't know when to let go. It's like the sun has set on their kingdom, on their reign, but they don't want to let go. So they become barbaric to hold on to power. This is her. And when you were around this person, if you ever got the opportunity to be around this person, you collective, she would have possibly started copying you because people spoke highly of you. This is someone that was intimidated by you because of your mental, your sharp, creative, your intellectual, you are outspoken and this woman hated that and you didn't know. You thought she was your friend. She was absolutely not your friend. This is one of those people that will be stabbing you in the back and calling you a friend in your face, smiling as, why, as they can, you'll see all 32 of their teeth when they're smiling with you. Excuse me. I hope you two, you all cannot see what I'm doing now, but excuse me. <laughs> but this, this person here is attached to an institution, a wealthy institution, even, and I'm not even getting that this person owns a company. This could just be someone that, ain't, like, that is like a higher up. And the person that actually owns the company may be terrified of this woman because of how she behaves. And the reason she does this is because they allow her to get too far. This could be someone that slept their way up. So she could be using blackmail on certain people in the company to keep them in control, keep them in place. My goodness, just a whole lot coming to me. Just a whole lot coming to me. Hmm.
Someone here too feels trapped in a marriage. It could be this King of Swords feels trapped in a marriage. He wants out. For some of you, this King of Swords feels trapped in a relationship, in a in a in a company. He wants. I'm telling you, he wants out. He wants to seal to come and water it. All of these masculines want out. They're unhappy. What did you do, collective? You're supposed to be out here minding your business, counting your crystals, drinking your green juice, laying under the sun, right? Playing with the flowers, touching trees and stuff, and you're out here driving masculine nuts. What did you do? We want to know. What did you do, madame? Monsieur, what did you do? These masculines are going bunkers. And this is because of your energy. They know you are genuine. You're not faking anything. If you don't, if things don't make sense to you, you say they don't make sense. If you like people, you are affectionate to them. If you don't care too much for them, you're still not nasty to them. You just stay, you are genuine. You just stay away from people. You are genuine. And then you're gifted which means it's beneficial for these masculine to partner up with you. But these masculines, they feel trapped where they are. Spirit is working on a masculine. Your ancestors, they're working on a masculine. And your empress, honey. Honey. Oh, Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Empress, you have a brand new passionate beginning coming in. You're about to be getting married. You're about to have abundance beyond your wildest dreams. Someone is stepping up to be your emperor. This person is going to be your number one advocate your number one supporter, your number one fan. This is going to be your person on person on a different level. You manifest that because you're a high priestess, empress, page of swords, your Google with words, your mental, you're, you're in alignment and you have this temperance, honey, queen of cups, you're in alignment in every way, shape, and form. You have manifested a few masculines in your lives. In your, yeah, your lives, because this is, this is a general reading. You are collective, you troublemakers. You have manifested a few masculines in your life. You manifested a king of wands, a king of swords, an emperor, Lord have mercy. And they all seem to be doing well in their lives in one way, shape, or another. Honey, you need to teach us what it is that you did. And leave some of the men out here for us. Don't take them all. God dang it. Leave one for us leave some for us because if you leave one then that means we have to share and i'm not good with sharing man so leave some for us come on now don't be selfish don't be greedy okay okay honey moving forward thank you This tower is not a bad tower. This is not a bad tower. I know when we see the towers in readings, we get alarmed. <gasps> oh my gosh. This tower is here because this person is going through a realization. Actually, a lot of people here are going through a realization epiphany they're going through some type of change something has been illuminated 
the truth has been illuminated so there's a tower things are being cleared up whatever situation was going on there's clarity now there was confusion before about an institution well something that took place with an institution in a marriage in a relationship in a collaboration but there was clarity spoken and now people know what actions to take so this emperor is taking charge to move forward he knows his choice his decision to move forward is going to lead to some type of drastic change immediate change but he's absolutely going to oh listen okay I told you, you all were going to be successful and that card came out. I'm telling you, commitment. Commitment. Listen, I'm telling you, you're the queen of, queen of wands as well. Marriage, matrimony, harvest celebration okay absolutely there's a huge tower going on for everybody there's a couple in here that's coming to an end as well there's a couple in here that's coming to an end being humble someone was either with a woman that was just too much too much, too much, like Medea said, and he's getting away from her. So their relationship is coming to an end so that this masculine, whichever one it is, because I'm not about to pretend with you all and tell you that I know which masculine is, is the one. But whichever masculine is in this toxic relationship is letting go of it so he can have happiness because that's what he wants with a true high priestess. The one that is in the upright so someone could have told this masculine that you are not in the upright that you're into black magic you do this you do that you throw spell work on people honey if you're showing up here as an empress a genuine empress i know a hundred percent you do not do that because you don't have no need to do that true empresses don't do spell works we don't have to we simply ask and the universe moves on our behalf. We manifest our own realities. So we don't have to do any type of uh, any type of special ingredients. We don't need special ingredients to do anything. We don't have to manipulate to get anything. We don't have to do word magic to do anything to get anything is naturally attracted to us. Abundance is naturally ours. Okay? So whoever told that lie, liar, liar, pants on fire. You always have opportunities. You're going to be having a lot of success. You'll have so many opportunities, you won't know which one to choose. And this other masculine is going through heartbreak is disappointed because he knows you're going to have success with the other person. They could be friends or they could be aware of each other. <laughs> and you could have someone in here as well that wants to come in and tempt you just to kind of lead you astray. They don't want you to have fulfillment with someone else. I just heard, I'm telling you to lead you astray, put an ending to wish fulfillment i'm telling you lord have mercy and i just heard this person may want to send something like this unhinged creature may want to send someone into your energy just to mislead you this could be someone attractive easy on the eye they're going to have themselves well put together when they come to you to make it look like they're genuinely interested in you so the actual person that's interested in you does not have a chance with you Make it make sense.
Honey, you will not be falling for any illusions. I'm telling you, no illusions. Hold on.